for the sensations and the stories. No, no, uh, feelings, uh, emotions and stories. So meaning to say um, emotions, we emotions is actually attached to a story that we have. So if we if we do not have, for example, a story of mosquito bites and therefore dengue fever, and I I'm so irritated why, uh, the 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 mosquito chose to bite me, for example. So then the uh with, without that 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 narrative narration, then the emotion would uh would probably subside or not be there, and which is why it is only left with um sensation. Is, is that right? Yeah, I'll add some to that. It's, it's, it's almost right. So it's, it is right, but I will add this. Um, the recognition mm. of this freedom is sometimes accompanied, and I'm, I'm not saying you're saying this, is sometimes accompanied with the idea, well, which is great, my negative emotions will go away. Right? Mm. And with that, once that's there, the idea to reduce, remove, then the practice becomes a tool. And when it becomes a tool, you can use it as a tool. You can use these teachings as tools, but that's very, very different to first establishing freedom. So if I have an addiction to too much TV, I can begin to rest as awareness around the urge to not TV, um, YouTube, we don't have TVs anymore, right? So I can use this resting as awareness to, to manage my addiction. Once I start doing that, I'm no longer looking at freedom. I'm looking at what I call empowerment. And that is a different path because it can lead you back into suffering, right? I'm not saying not do it. So the first thing to establish is all emotions are a welcome. All stories are welcome. All thoughts, sensations, and feelings are welcome. When mm. you start with that, you are starting from already being awake, acknowledging your wakefulness. And this is the core practice. But just to understand the mechanism of the mind, what you will notice in this practice of allowing and the practice of allowing calms everything down so you become more perceptive you'll be like oh when i think this story i get i turn this sensation into this emotion so with the mosquito i was like oh when i feel like annoying mosquitoes i turn the bite into an emotion and emotions are very beautiful. Emotions are, are basically our guide, our guiding system. They guide us through life because they're protective. But because of the nature of trauma, our emotional radar can become off kilter. So we can have a re reactions to things that are problematic. The reaction is problematic because they're inappropriate. We are too emotional or not enough emotional, or two, one way or two the other. So when you allow everything to be as it is, if you're, say you're someone that's always um, giving everything, you will re begin to relax and think, actually, I don't really need to give so much. I think I'm more happy centered. And if you're someone that's very, I don't give anything, nobody gets anything from me, you'll suddenly start finding yourself finding balance. So. The Tibetans describe this practice as exhausting all faults and exalting all qualities. So it's a balancing. All faults are illuminated as beauty and all qualities are illuminated as beauty. So the mm -hmm. evenness, an evenness in your temperament begins to appear. Mm. mosquito bite no mosquito bite emotion no emotion and it doesn't always stay um even one of the other things i want to add uh, i think people miss is that it's not awakening doesn't mean 
that you are liberated in every single area of your life. I describe it like you have all of these life triggers, a big board of switches, right? Therapy is like working on one switch at a time, right? This process of awakening, it turns off swathes of switches, <laughs> like waves one they all fall away but you will still have some that are rusted fast and even in when you've been practicing a long time those stuck switches can still unseat your equanimity but the difference is is you are caught much sooner it might it might even be a microsecond or it might be five minutes but it won't be what it used to be, which for me could be days of like fuming about something. Now it's like, oh, oh, okay, that's a switch. I'll let it be as it is. So that the, the way awakening actually practically happens to most people is swathes of your area become less and less triggerable and you become uh, a, 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 a beneficial presence to your friends and family but you are still triggerable. It's just much less sensitive. Thanks. My pleasure. Good, really good questions. Thank you for asking.